Gamers, it's Jordan with the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Steam Saturdays. Uh, last week you guys voted, actually you had a tie. Uh, we had five votes for Plants vs. Zombies and five votes for Left 4 Dead. Um, I decided to play Plants vs. Zombies because I just I didn't have an opportunity to really pull some other people in. And I think Left 4 Dead is one of those games um, that, you know, you, you can play it single player, but I think it'd be more fun if I could at least get one or two other people in there on it. So, um, uh, I just didn't have time to do that this week, um, or just didn't have the opportunity to, to get people in. Uh, and so we're going to be playing Plants vs. Zombies, which is also a really fun game. I love this little game. Um, I played it on my, on my iPad, um, when it first came out. Um, and then I got it really cheap on Steam, um, after a, a little while. So, um, we are going to start an adventure. We're going to do the story mode here, and, uh... I love that. It's like the Haunted Mansion laugh thing. Popcat Games presents! So we're going to be starting a new story mode here. I, I bought this game. I don't know... Well, I hadn't installed it on my new computer yet. Um, and so I don't... I don't know, um... I don't know if I've ever played it on the computer, if I just, like, I saw it for, like, a dollar, and I was like, yeah, I'll get that, and bought it. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to be starting out fresh here. we got to roll out some sod. Um, and we're gonna have to go on the tutorial a little bit, but let's, uh, we're gonna put the pea shooter, I'm gonna put him, like, right here. There we go. Nicely done. Uh, and then we gotta collect the sunbeams, which will power our, uh, our ability to buy new. That's kind of our, our money, our currency, sorry, so we get those sunbeams, and then we can buy more plants. We've got another one, so we can put that down. And basically, you just are trying to defend your house via these weirdly animated, uh, plants, uh, from the zombie invasion. Uh, and so it grows in complexity as you go along in the game, for those of you guys who haven't played it before. Oop. Um, and, uh, and, you know, to where you get the full yard, you got a swimming pool, they're on the roof, like, it's, it's all kinds of madness eventually when you get on in the game. Um, now can he shoot from back there? See, this is, this is just like a tutorial beginning stage here. Um, but yeah, you get all kinds of crazy plants throughout the course of the story mode and things like that. It's a really fun little, it's kind of like a, a tower defense sort of deal, which is a lot of fun. These sunflowers are really good. Um, they generate more sunshine, so you get some naturally just from the sun, or the sunflowers will also produce them, um, which is, is very, very helpful as, as things go on. Um, so let's see, are we going to have more than one roll of sod here? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have three this time. All right, so you've got these, these lawn mowers. If a zombie gets past your defenses, uh, and and hits towards the house. You have well, a one-time use lawnmower that will take care of anything in its path um, And so those are pretty useful as well. This is recharging. Let's get another one back here Usually I like to set up my back row as sunflowers um, But sometimes back couple rows depending on uh, on what kind of input we we're having here But so now we've got sunflowers. They really need to start producing though because we're probably gonna have zombies start showing up And I've yet to put down a single uh, pea shooter here so we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna have these three producing, but other than that, we're probably not gonna be using any more sunflowers this turn. Okay, so that's what I wanted. I wanted to wait and see what row he was gonna come down first. So let's go ahead and pop that guy down. The further back I can put him, uh, the longer he'll last. Once a zombie, if a zombie l makes his way to a uh, a particular you know plant, they will eat it and destroy it. So you've got to make sure that you're taking out the zombies before they're really getting to your your plant supplies there. We go another pea shooter. We'll get him going on that row. And it starts off kind of slow, but I mean, this game's been out for a long time. I, it was, I think it was. Free. I might have paid a little bit for it on my iPad, but I feel like it was probably free. I don't do a lot of paid games, so um, I would imagine it was probably free. But uh, yeah, I, I'm sure most people have played this game before. It's a fun game. I love this game. And I've never really played it on the computer. I, it's a the only downside to playing it on the computer right now is that um, it doesn't allow... I mean, probably because it's so specific in the, the frame, but like it, I wanted to change my um, my frame size to my normal recording frame of 1280 by 720 uh, and I can't get that proportion, so I'm probably going to have to put some sort of like uh, sidebar or something on this, which isn't the end of the world, but uh, a little bit disappointing. Huge wave of zombies is approaching, so there we go. Um, usually, like the last wave is like a big final rush, so you're usually pretty well established by that point. Let's uh, let's put down as many pea shooters as we can, though. Try to survive, and you get different kinds of zombies too. You'll get some that are like linebackers or pole jumpers or 
uh, you know, they've got a screen door, which will block from a lot of things, or, you know, they have balloons, so they'll fly over. It, like, it's all kinds of stuff you got to be prepared for eventually once you get going on the game. There we go. And so we completed this round. We get a new plant, um, which is a cherry bomb. And so there's like a one-time use. You buy one of those, you put it down, and it'll explode, killing anything in its radius. There we go. So like these guys have cones on their heads, that means they're slightly more defensive than the normal zombies. Uh, let's see, we gotta put down sunflowers. And then the, the period, so you usually get a little bit of a period at the beginning here to kind of get stuff going, um, but that, that usually decreases as you go on as well. Um, so th this game's a lot of fun, I love this game. Tower defenses, I've, I've always been a fan of like tower defenses, somebody recently um, on one of my series, uh, turned me on to um, turned me on to uh, Pokemon Tower Defenses out there. If you just search Pokemon Tower Defense, I think they just came up with the second version too. It's actually got kind of like a story mode sort of thing. It's really actually pretty cool. I, I, I want to play that. I think it's probably going to be a Patreon exclusive series I do because it'll be kind of just a fun little mini series thing. But um, it's a lot of fun. I've got a cool little series, and so I, I've, I've always been a sucker for tower defense games. Um, and so, uh, yeah, any, anytime I get my hands on things like this is a lot of fun. Actually, I was, a, I went to college for, uh, computer graphics technology stuff, and, um, part of that was, like, game design or web design or, you know, uh, computer animation, you know, all, all those kind of realms, graphic design, all that kind of folded up in there. And so, for one of my classes, we had to actually build, like, a game in Flash. And I actually made a zombie apocalypse tower defense game which was really actually pretty fun. Um, I don't know if I still have that anywhere or not, but uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was it was a fun. I just I love it. it's so much fun. Uh, sorry, I'm talking about a lot of that, uh, but yeah. So um, Steam Saturdays. I, I want to thank all you guys who voted uh, this last week. Um, again, if you guys have other game suggestions that you know games you really love on Steam that you'd like to see me play. Uh, if they're not on the list, I probably don't have them. Uh, and, and, and for me to play a game that's not on the list, it, it would have to be something where, like, somebody gifted me the game on my Steam. So, um, you know, if you've got a game you love and you want me to play, feel free to do that. I don't I don't request, like, I'm not saying you've got to do that. You only have to do that if you're going to make requests that are not on the list. Um, and, and, you know, if you don't, if you like, oh, I didn't know it had to be on the list, never mind. I'm not saying if you make a request, you've got to get it to me, but I won't be playing the game unless it's on the list. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of great little fun mini games like this on Steam that are just fun to jump into and play. Um, but yeah, so another thing, like, so one of my favorite games of all time is Mass Effect. And Mass Effect is on Steam, but I'm not going to be playing games like that for Steam Saturday, largely just because, you know, it's it's not, um, it's just not the kind of game I'm looking for. I'm looking for more like mini gamey kind of stuff. Something that I can, you can, we can jump into every couple of weeks or whatever, because you guys are voting what we play is going to be based on that. Let's use our new, our new item here. Oh, Finished off that, get our new thing, and the walnut. I love these guys. These are awesome. And they all have kind of punny names. The sunflower gives you sunbeams. Um, the walnut acts as a wall to block off, uh, you know, things. The cherry bomb is obviously a bomb. Um, so things like that. It's a, this game's fun. Um, but yeah, so, um, oh, there we go. We've got the full yard going now. All right, here we go. So let's set up this. Okay, so it's gonna make us recharge immediately for the walnut, which is fine. Um, I'll probably save that until we've got some approaching zombies anyway. Let's get some more sunflower power going back here. Um, but yeah, so these, these kind of mini games, if you guys do have suggestions or if you are going to send me a game, you know, I love Mass Effect, but I'm not going to be playing through Mass Effect um, in this this kind of playthrough. So um, it'll, it'll have to be something, you know, that is kind of mini game related or just something we can jump into you know, in the middle, or we can take weeks off, something that is not going to really, continuity is going to matter so much, um, and you know, this, obviously there is a, you know, a progression, but it's not something that we really, uh, you know, are super worried about, you know, continuity, things like that, it's a mini game. it's a mini game sort of thing. Okay, we need a pea shooter here, that walnut's about to go down, alright, there we go, he can, he can shoot all the way up, yeah, perfect. So those walnuts are really useful, especially if you got things back here, if you got stronger ones, it takes them a long time to get through it. Um, so they're, um, they're good ones to use if you are needing to get set up or you just, you need to give your pea shooters more time to take things out before, so like that guy, he just got through the, the thing, um, and this guy finally took him down. Um, there we go. There's my sunbeams, come on! 
So, like, last week we did poker. Um, I love that game. That round took a really long time. That episode was, like, 30 minutes, which is not really my general intention for this series. My usual intention for this series is gonna for, for it to be more along the lines of just, like, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Just a fun little thing. So, we'll probably do one or two more rounds after this, and then we'll call it a day, depending on how long this takes. Maybe, like, one more round after this. Um, and, uh, and, and then we'll, we'll call it a day. If you guys want to see more Plants vs. Zombies next week, uh, again, the, the voting will be in the description down below. You guys can feel free to, uh, you can feel free to do that, uh, vote for it again. I mean, I, I've got no issue with, if you guys want to keep watching Plants vs. Zombies, that's great. We'll keep watch, doing that. Um, but, um, it's not a requirement or anything, um, that we keep playing a game until it's finished. That's kind of why I want to do more minigame. That was a waste of money. thought that would get this guy, too. Um... That's why I want to do more mini games sort of things, so that you know you guys can see a variety of stuff without really getting lost. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We are not gonna be ready for this huge wave when it comes. Sunflower is gonna start producing a little bit. Eventually, you can get like upgrades to these plants, so you get like a two-headed sunflower, which produces twice as much or whatever. And although I don't know if it's an upgrade necessarily, or if it's this guy's got defenses, we've got to get him going. In fact, let's put a walnut there. Those walnuts are pretty cheap. We need another pea shooter here. Zoop. Perfect, and that walnut survived very nicely, so he'll be there to take on more guys, which is perfect. We have double layer of pea shooters everywhere. Awesome. We'll go triple here in just a second. So there's this guy regen. We need more sun. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, this guy here. We'll just work our way down. Just scattered since that's all you were able to purchase there at that point. Huge wave. Okay, so we're in the final wave. Alright. We still just have regular zombies and conehead zombies. So nothing too drastic to worry about in that respect. Uh, you do get some pretty fancy zombies coming up eventually that, uh, that make things pretty difficult. And eventually we might need to actually start going for the second row sunflowers. They're really not producing as much as I would like to see. Well, it's the last wave. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but... There we go. We get the shovel, which... Oh, we can dig up a plant. If we, like, if I put down a row of shooters, but I want to put in more sunflowers, I can dig up a plant in order to do that. Um, so... Greetings, neighbor! Name's Crazy Daddy. You can just call me Crazy Daddy. Because I got a surprise for you. Well, first of all, I need you to clear your line. You need your shovel to dig up those plants. So a little bit of a tutorial thing here. Dig up these guys. Good enough. First, we're going. Okay, so we'll end it today with the bowling round. These are these get interspersed within the normal things, and it just kind of you get a conveyor belt of different things that you can use. Um, and so, oh, it's got to be on this. Oh, all right, bowling. Yeah. They also have like a conveyor belt thing here where. Um, like, it'll just give you random items and you just place them on your lung as opposed to, like, doing the normal building of, with like, oh, well, you get the sunflowers and you generate sun. And, like, it just gives you different items here. Oh, that worked. Let's hit the cone head. That'll just knock off his cone. It won't kill him. Okay, what's the red one do is explode on contact? Yeah. There we go. But yeah, so they shake up the gameplay a bit, usually, too, with with these different kinds of even mini games interspersed, which is a lot of fun. And so we'll end on one of these today, which will work out pretty nicely. Now, can I hit the cone head with... Nope, I don't see the way. Can I hit that guy? Hit the other one. Yes, perfect. Double. Take out this guy first. Nice. Two furs are always good. Yes. Beautiful. All right, got cone heads coming up. Who's closer? I guess by an inch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, give me a red one. I wanna, I wanna take out some of these groupings here. No. Yes. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Um, this guy's up front. Here we go. Oh, good, he got the guy next one. Perfect. Nice. Here we go. Let's try 
this one. Perfect, got the cone off at least. Um, actually, let's leave that in place. Let's do that, see what we can get. Now they don't, we, I could let them pile up too, I probably should have, especially with the huge wave approaching, probably should have saved some of those uh, bombs and stuff for the huge wave. Um, but let's, uh, let's chip away as we can here until we get a bomb showing up. There's a good bomb. Alright. Okay, here's a couple. Perfect. Uh, let's hit in the middle here. Hopefully we take out a good couple there. Yeah, perfect. And then this guy should wrap it up for us. But oh, oh, we got the uh, spud mine or whatever. I forget what his what technical name is. A potato mine explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. So you plant, you oh, you kind of plant those, and then you uh, you get uh, you know they they arm themselves, and then if somebody steps on it, they're they're good to go. But we're gonna go back to the menu. Um, so we're gonna head to the main menu, and we will pick up here. Um, we're going to pick back up there uh, if you guys vote Plants vs. Zombies again or when, whenever Plants vs. Zombies pops back up at the top of the, the queue. Uh, we'll continue on this adventure, but I think that was a, a good little introduction to the game. And we'll continue on uh, next time you guys vote that in. But there's a whole list of other fun games in the list as well. So if you guys want to shake it up, get some variety going, we can do that as well. Um, and uh, yeah, again, as always, if you've got suggestions that are not on the list, games you really love that you want to see me play, just you've got to gift it to me. And I don't want you to gift me like a $60 game. I don't think any of these little mini game ones ever end up being that expensive. But I mean, if it's like a $2 game or something, or if it's a free to play game that you want to suggest, feel free to do that as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torm the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure to go down in the comment or description down below and vote for what you guys want to see for next week's Steam Saturday. And I'll see you guys all back here next time. Alrighty guys, have a good one.